Hi, you're watching Clouds in the Kitchen and I'm in Brazil, my home country. We are here at a buffet restaurant in the southeast of Brazil, in Sao Paulo. I'm going to show you a variety of foods that you can eat when you come down south. Uh, basically, Minas Gerais, Sao Paulo and Rio and the south. We've got barbecue and everything. I'm going to give you a round on the buffet. Basically, normally what we have is an eat as much as you want with a fixed price. They will serve you some cheeses, all sorts of cheeses. Normally here is carpaccio, but I think they run out. Baba ganoush, and we have a massive Turkish influence here uh, in Sao Paulo. Some quail eggs, mozzarella, some oil. If you see this, this is really nice. Normally this is onions. Uh, made like a salsa sort of thing. Pickles and grilled vegetables in olive oil and, and um, some seasoning, normally with parsley. We have a Japanese influence too, so you're gonna get some wasabi and some sushi. Then we have the Russian salads. There's like lots of different types of Russian salad. You're always gonna get a big plate of very juicy lime. Then whatever, what have we got? Oh. Some rose pepper, some chickpeas with uh, salt pot, which is yummy. Lots of little fresh, mm, excuse me, some fresh vegetables chopped and some chips. Why not? Some crisps. Lettuces, roast garlic, which is yummy. Um, what else? Oh, and this is our Brazilian salsa. Basically, the Brazilian salsa is made with parsley, onions and tomatoes. Um, and it goes with everything, especially if you're having barbecues, this is a must-have. Aubergines that have been grilled and seasoned with pink peppercorns, broccoli with red onions, tomatoes, Japanese influence again, you can see that pickled um, cucumber. Palm hearts, people, this is delicious in Brazil. The tin stuff you get abroad is not quite the same, you must try it. Uh, we have here couscous, this is Brazilian couscous, is made with corn flakes, not corn flakes like you have in a bar, like it's not the American kind of corn flakes for, that you have for um, breakfast. Okay. Um, it's made of corn, like polenta, and then we season it and make a little stew and then we cut it into cubes. Normally served with chilies for me. Those have nothing on Thai chilies. The chilies in Thailand are much hotter, so normally I have a big greedy tablespoon like this. They make here their own Italian bread, which is divine. Uh, we have here the barbecue guy. Sorry, disculpa, vou passar. Okay, and we have rum, sirloin, fillet steak, grilled mozzarella. We also have some chicken hearts that he will cook according to your taste. Disculpa, sorry. Here they make their own fresh pasta in this particular restaurant and they prepare it al sugo or with calabresa, Ooh, which is Italian classic. Yummy. Get, come hungry, you will need to be hungry. Stop scratching, because it's a Minas Gerais Brazilian thing. I'm so happy it's everywhere in the world. Estou aqui de novo, tudo bem? Tudo bom? Oh, que que você tem hoje? Oh, there's all sorts of cuts. Baby beef. Ooh. Filet mignon. Oh, we have steak today as well. Mm, yummy. Já volto. Okay, and then we have this thing here. Feijão tropeiro. Pode passar, moço. Vai pegar, né? I'm cutting the queue. Okay, here we have some pinto beans that have been uh, mixed with a Brazilian flour called mandioca, farofa, farinha, sorry. Then here they have the beans, also the stewed beans that we have in Brazil everywhere. Then we have some fabulous chicken stew made a countryside way that is delicious. Um, also we have here oxtail. This is how we prepare it in Brazil and at the end to cut through most of the fat, they put some watercress on top. It makes for a delicious meal. What else have we got? I'm so hungry. We have here something that you must try. Everywhere in Brazil, you're gonna get this. It's called casquinha de city. Basically, it's crab meat with coconut milk seasonings, and, um, and it's delicious. It's gratin with Parmesan cheese on top. Here we have some Brazilian kale and in England they call it spring greens that is being stir fried with garlic. Also this goes everywhere in Brazil. Here we have a big chunk of this amazing soft, tenderly cooked 
Lego. Oh. Yum. This will be my thing. Oi, tudo bem? De novo. Yes. <laughs> Every Sunday I come here trying to get a good one, but it doesn't happen. Okay, we have some stir fried okra here that is delicious. Uh, São Paulo is very big on Italian sausages because we have a massive Italian population here. So basically you're going to get it here. It's been fried and it's being stirred fried with uh, onions. It's yummy. Gratin uh, soco. Here we have some jerk beef. This is how we make jerk beef in Brazil, people. Uh, we sort of cook it and prepare it with pumpkin, potatoes and some delicious spring onions. Then what else have we got? Chips. Because nowhere seriously into food should go without it. They keep sort of providing stuff all the time. So once the pan is like this, they bring it fresh from the kitchen and it's delicious. We have here some Italian sausage that has been seasoned with herbs. This is the spicy one. This is the... Uh, yeah, it's still not ready. I'm here early. Love it. Um, here we have some cow uh, ribs that have been cooked. How long did it cook this costela? It's about 5 hours in the oven, no forno. This should be well soft. Sorry, my hand just shook here. This is some pork ribs. And this a cupina. Uh, we don't have this. Oh, we had some lamb today, which I'll be back for. And this is a special Brazilian cut that is at the back here somewhere. It's very marbled and is wonderfully cooked. Very slow cooked too. Okay. <laughs> I've given you a little tour. This is what you're definitely gonna find the southeast of Brazilian uh, buffet restaurants. Have a good time. I hope you come enjoy our food. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. Clouds in the kitchen. Thank you. Obrigada.